Thank you very much, Alvon Diachiti Alvon. Well, we're now going to be looking at fan wing, and I'm joined by Pat Peebles. Good morning, Boreda. Good morning, good morning. Good. Uh, we're going to be talking about fan wing. Um, we're going to have a look in a minute at some of the footage that we filmed, I believe, on Monday when you were flying. But first of all, uh, tell us a little bit about fan wing. Well, the fan wing is a new technology that we're developing to uh, uh, provide a new lift system which provides very high lift at low speeds. And uh, although we're working in various directions, uh, this is one of the first spin-offs spin is a possible UAV system, which is what we brought here. And it's a British company, but you're based, you do most of your work in Rome, and you yourself are an American, is that right? That's right, I'm an American, the company is British, and we do a lot of our work in Italy where we find the flying uh, weather is a bit more clement. <laughs> Very nicely put. On the screen now, uh, we've got the setting up, I believe, of the fan wing. So if you'd just like to talk us through, I mean, it's, it's a very um, unique design. Tell me a little bit about the design. Well, the design has a uh, cross-flow fan which runs the span of the wing. And this gives, uh, this pulls the air in across the front of the wing. The fan is powered providing a very high lift and thrust at low speeds. And uh, the, the whole genesis of the idea is to distribute the propulsion over as much air as possible. How, how many people do you need for the actual setup? You know, here, how many people do you need for the setup? Oh, just, just one person to set up. And uh, oh, we've found a very expert local pilot to fly it for us because our pilot couldn't come to the exhibition this time. So how long are we looking at time-wise for the actual setting up and preparation of Fanwing before it's, it's launched? Oh, it, it, once it's uh, into a production type aircraft, it should be able to set up in 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. What, what made you come up with the idea? I mean, it's your design, I believe. You know, what made you design Fanwing? Well, the idea was to uh, essentially distribute the propulsion. Uh, if you notice, uh, modern engines on uh, large aircraft get bigger and bigger. They're trying to take in more air. The more air you take in, the more your efficiency is. And we took that to the extreme in taking the air in along the length of the whole wing and accelerating it over the wing. Okay, so what's happening now? Well, it's, uh, it's taking off. The first time, it's, uh, we're not used to taking off on the grass, so it's, uh, the drag pushes the nose down on the, on the aircraft. But as you will notice, or as the pilot noticed when he was flying it, it's an uh, extremely stable aircraft in turbulence. It's much less sensitive to the angle of attack or the wind gusts than a traditional aircraft. Why, why have you brought it here to the show? What are you hoping to achieve from being here at Aberporth? Well, we bought it to show, uh, to show, showcase our new technology, to look for uh, assistance and partnership. We, we don't intend ourselves to, uh, to provide uh, monitoring equipment on board. We can't do that, so we need someone, a systems integrator, to help us uh, provide the equipment, the onboard equipment, the cameras, the transmission systems, the control systems. So wh when you find somebody who's willing to work with you, uh, where do you see the fan wing actually being used? Well, this is a, 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 a sort of an early spin-off from the technology, which is uh, a UAV which we've designed specifically for urban surveillance, which uh, can fly very slowly up and down streets. And we predict with this one an 80-minute autonomy carrying two kilos of payloads. Uh, flying very slowly. It flies at about 30 kilometers an hour, this aircraft. So you hopefully from the show you'll meet somebody who'll be interested in working with you, yeah? That's right, yeah. We're trying to make contacts to take the project forward, uh, finding partnerships, because we can't do it all ourselves. It's an extraordinary design. Is there some Italian influence there? You were saying that the Italians design very elegant uh, aircraft. Well, I, I wouldn't call it elegant, that's for sure. It's uh, uh, most people say it's a flying harvester or a flying push mower, but uh, it's, uh, it flies very well. It, it, and I admit myself, looking at it, it actually shouldn't, but it does. Yeah. As a company, have you got any other projects that you're looking at as well? Well, we, we hope to take this up into larger scale because as it's uh, being scaled up, it's getting more efficient. We found out in the work that we've done that the 
larger it is, the more efficient. And so we would really like to get into uh, a large aircraft uh, that could carry heavy loads, freight, short distances for uh, aid or local freight delivery. That's where we'd really like to go. This is uh, uh, a step on the way, let's say. Well, I hope you have a successful stay here at Aberporth, and thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very kind of you.